today, and so I'm going to use a 28 ounce um, can of petite diced tomatoes. Pour this in our bowl. Now to this, I am going to add some um, spices. We're going to add some cilantro, which I have already washed and it's ready. And I'm just going to go ahead that stuff out of the way, and slice this up. Now, you can use as much cilantro as you want. I like a lot of cilantro, so we use quite a bit of cilantro in ours. I'm going to chop that up a little bit so we don't get big honking pieces in our mouths or on our chip. That is all done up. I'm just going to put it right on into a bowl there. Now I'm going to chop up some serrano peppers. I choose serrano peppers because I like them a little bit better than jalapenos. They aren't as potent as a jalapeno pepper. And I'm going to start off with two of them at first. And I'm going to use this wonderful. Pampered Chef Pot, um, Good job. Yeah, I'm going to one at a time. And you can chop that as finely as you want or as rough as you want. So that's still a little big for me. So um, I'm going to, that's still a little too big. So I'm going to go ahead and chop it just a little bit more. When I let that up, I'm checking to see how strong is that pepper smell. And it's not too strong for me. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up this other pepper. And I am adding those peppers right on into that. Um, now, next, I'm going to use garlic. I'm going to use whole cloves of garlic. And I have this wonderful garlic press from also from Pamper Chef. And I'll put it in there, shell and all, and just press it on out of there. Put all the good stuff in there, open it up, and right there is all my shelling. I'm going to pull that right on out and throw that in the garbage. And I'm going to press another clove. I'm going to do about two or three of them. There again, that's all on you how much garlic you like. I'm going to use this little itty bitty third one here. So now I am going to toss in the onion. Now, I use white onion because it doesn't have as bitter of a taste as, let's say, the yellow onion. Peeling off of this onion really quick. Cut it. Take out its core. And here again, I'm going to make it really easy for myself, rather than me sitting here chopping it up, crying out my eyeballs, I'm going to use my wonderful handy dandy little pepper chef chopper. First, still 
first one gets a little sticky, but then after that, it's really easy. Here again, you're going to chop it as coarse or as small as you want it. That looks wonderful for me. This will work for me. Scrape out the inside of that a little bit. Scrape it on all that yummy onion that's left in there. Put that right on in there. Now, our main ingredients are in it. The only thing we're lacking are spices now. So, and, and actually a half of a teaspoon of our ground cumin. Now I'm going to use some pepper just for the taste. And I'm using a pepper grinder, a black pepper grinder. I have it on a small setting so the pieces of pepper aren't um, really big. And then I'm going to use my sea salt grinder to put my salt in. Now salt, you need some salt. So I've given it a few twists there. I've got my spoon. We're going to mix this all up. And once it is all mixed up, and I think it looks pretty good right now, I am going to get a chip just to give it a taste. I've got my chip. I'm going to take my spoon and put a little bit of it on there. That's really good. Um, I can take some lime, pour some lime in here, which I'm going to do right now. And you can use a real lime or lime juice. I don't use lime. I use lime so seldom that I prefer to use the lime juice bottle. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. Mix that on up. That lime juice all going in there with that. Take my chip. Nice big honking for those on. Salsa on that chip and much better. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Easy, easy salsa. And I hope you enjoy.